Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing what I think, what I consider, is this year's and maybe even beyond the best soundbar that you can buy for the money, and I say the best that you can buy for the money because there's a lot of uh, these home entertainment kits in a box, you know, your Sony's, LG's, and Samsung's that are $1,400 bucks. that include the Dolby Atmos because they're capitalizing on that, their subwoofers aren't great, they're like side mounted woofers exposed in a thin cabinet or something and you might get some um, little satellite speakers with the kits and stuff like that which I've owned <clears throat> let's say about three or four various kits of those myself over time but then you gravitate to who actually makes like what maker actually creates the best sounding spe speakers the most natural sound and puts the effort behind it might be more traditional than the few what's popular now kind of things but uh like i'm saying this is the best and this is martin logan cadence um this is a very nice sound bar for 50 inch screens and above i'll get into some specs here in a little bit and i'll read from that because i don't want to miss anything uh spec wise for it but i honestly believe like no this isn't dolby atmos uh there's nothing crazy about it i think there's nine individual driver speakers inside pointed at different uh, directions across this whole thing and it is rather expensive by itself right now the cheapest that I've been able to find it which I'll leave links to these and the subwoofer I recommend for the system is about 899 bucks and you may go who good lord you can get the uh, you know the kit in a box 600 700 yeah but you're gonna miss this glass breaking sound which you know it would set off your glass break sensors in your house no problem kind of thing you know i mean you're hitting your highs you're not hitting lows or anything with this the sound bar it's just sold as a sound bar but it does come with the wireless receiver for your own subwoofer if you want to you can connect it and have a wireless subwoofer it comes with the uh the, the receiver for the wireless transmission of the subwoofer which you'll need to pair that it doesn't uh, create that great of a bass at all. You have your mids and highs here and it's going to rely on your subwoofer for bass. And the subwoofer that I recommend that you get with this sound bar is the Martin Logan Dynamo 700 watt subwoofer with a 10 inch sealed driver. It's amazing. You can also move the driver from downward firing position up to side or forward firing position. You just move the legs but it's a completely sealed uh, subwoofer and it sounds beautiful with this like when you really crank this thing up you're, you're uh, getting the designed sound that they intended with this subwoofer because they originally uh, had made the intent for it to sound perfect to be paired with that subwoofer and I'll leave links for that and the cool thing about that is you can get that manufactured refurbished direct from Martin Logan I've purchased refurbished products directly from them in the past Never had an issue, but for $300, you can get one of the best subwoofers that's ever been made for your living room. I love that subwoofer. It's fantastic. That's the one I have with this one. But let's get back to some underlining specs for this guy. Now, you can mount this thing on a bookshelf or wall mount, and you can change that in the settings itself, and it will automatically shift how it produces the sound out of the speakers to justify being mounted up on the wall which if you mount this up on the wall the screen will face you and uh, that's a nice touch but uh, if it's sitting on a bookshelf style like it is right now uh, you just get a notification light in the top right corner when you press volume or something like that it'll blink and let you know that you're doing something with the remote but you can't really see the screen I've gotten used to that and it doesn't really bother me because there's only a few things I'm doing with that uh, as I'm watching stuff anyway so no big deal there also setting this up wirelessly with the subwoofer was super simple in the settings uh, menu you do get a little remote here which um, kind of gets you through everything of course that you need to and the remotes kind of nice so you will have to unscrew this to get the battery out uh, there's a big uh, Phillips screw there and then it slides out uh, of itself and then you put the battery in there so there you go and I don't really use that remote I actually have it up with the Logitech right here uh, this is the best universal remote I'll leave a link to it as well uh, absolute hands down the best and it, and it has the Martin Logan stuff in it. it has the cadence in this so basically you get all the stuff all the functions from the remote into this universal remote with a full uh, touch screen and stuff like that on it so this is by far the best universal remote on the market 
The frequency range is 65 to 20,000 hertz. It is a sealed cabinet. Sounds fantastic. No kind of rattling, no kind of anything from this. And you can really crank this thing up. And you really do get those sounds that I think the uh, movie maker intended. And it sounds beautiful. Trust me, it does. 135 watts, 270 watts peaking um, combined total output across nine amplifiers. So there's. Uh, I'll show a picture of uh, what's underneath this, but they're facing in different directions. And I think that's why you can bypass this Dolby Atmos uh, rage uh, that we're into right now is uh, all the rage. All the makers are making those kits uh, with the Dolby Atmos. And really, they're just putting like a 3-inch to 5-inch speaker that shoots up. Uh, you, you don't need this. This is good. This does come with ARC, which is the Anthem Room Correction uh, with an included calibrated microphone so that uh, wherever your listening area is, you can get on your PC, you can download ARC uh, from Martin Logan, and you can fine tune this specifically for where you're sitting and following the directions on the software. Super easy to do, makes a huge difference. And the idea is, in Martin Logan's mind, is the subwoofer kind of starts first kind of thing, and you completely um, flatten that sound out from your subwoofer and then do it all with the included system um, with this soundbar and all that included after the fact that you flattened out the sound of that subwoofer for your room and then that really brings the life and, and essence out of this thing and I love their idea and their mindset with how things should sound because I like flat natural sounding things uh, yeah you want the big boomy push when you have an explosion or whatever but for the most part I love natural sounds and this nails that. This is a DSP based amplifier with Dolby Digital and DTS Digital Surround. Some people have hit them for not including more uh, decoders in here but that's the ones that you get and I have not personally had any issues with it. I think for the money and for the sound that you get it's a great system. It does uh, the 2.4 to 5 gigahertz frequencies for this wireless range, which will come in handy with the, your owned satellite speakers that you can add to this unit as well, which is really cool. Like You can buy this, which has ports, which we'll get into, that you can use to hook up other things, and you can bypass a receiver. Uh, you get the wireless receiver for your subwoofer, for your own subwoofer if you wanted to buy one, and you can add your own satellite speakers, not their brand, if you wanted to later. And you get Apple AirPlay DTS PlayFi, which is how you can add your satellite speakers. And it works with Alexa, which I don't use Alexa, I use Google. But with the PlayFi, what you can do is you can get PlayFi compatible speakers. And basically those are meant to be like a whole home audio system. Wherever you get into the PlayFi, uh, you can download the DTS PlayFi app and play music across multiple rooms off those single speakers that have PlayFi built in. But you can also add PlayFi has two additional uh, rear, back, rear, left, and right satellite speakers for this. So you can buy your own PlayFi speakers as they go on sale through the holiday seasons or if you have them already and you can put those guys behind you left and right and add two satellite speakers to the system and it will send uh, stuff to it as if it were its own wireless satellite uh, system. So that is extremely cool that it can do that. I haven't done that yet so I can't say if it's smooth and, and you know flawless because some of those things can be herky-jerky and delay or whatever else but from what I've read and stuff it works so I'm going to try that when we get to our permanent residence because we're in a temporary location right now and we're building a home so whenever I bust this thing out in our new living room I'm going to uh, look into pursuing the PlayFi um, speakers, satellite speakers for this because they make them too but my god they're expensive they're like six or eight hundred bucks or something like that a piece so they're crazy expensive for satellite speakers Whenever this unit you can get right now for like $8.99, and I'll leave a link to that. Uh, but to add their satellite speakers, you're looking at a big chunk of change. So, I mean, I'm trying to get the, the cheapest, best option. And I think I found that with this system, even though this one's expensive, the software was really cheap for what you get. And you can add some cheaper satellite speakers. And I think it'd be okay, but we'll figure that out later. And I'll leave comments down uh, in the comment section or in the YouTube description. Uh, as I go with this system and add things to it, what will work and what not. But right now, we're talking about this and a subwoofer, and it sounds great. Our three HDMI, two optical ports, uh, two analog stereo RCA ports, Wi-Fi, Ethernet port, and a Bluetooth port. And you can update this too. There's a, a little drive back there, a little USB drive, I think it is, for updating the soundbar, which I haven't done, and I don't know if it needs one or not. 
And the weight of this thing is fairly light for what it is. It's 12.7 pounds, so that's not really that heavy for something like this. Uh, the other one, the one that this replaced is actually the LG SK10Y. It had Dolby Atmos, uh, Meridian uh, tuned soundbar. Uh, sounded fine, but it was just missing something because I had a really nice Martin Logan system in the past with uh, the big towers, Martin Logan towers and stuff. We had our first kid. We didn't know how those towers would be around the kids running around pulling on them and stuff. So I sold those with the intent of coming back to them as the kids got older. But this will pacify me until I can get back to a nice Martin Logan Tower point back into my life again, which I can't wait for that. But this will hold me over definitely until that point happens. So I'm excited. I love this thing. So the dimensions might get you on the heights part. It could, but I think there's a resolution to that. But it's three and a half inches tall, 46.1 inches wide, and five inches deep. So the, the, the height part might get you that uh, three, what is it, uh, 3.5 inch height here could get you for visibility on your TV. It depends on how high you have it sitting. We like our TVs to sit kind of high. So our, this is our bedroom uh, dresser right now because we're kind of, you know, in transition. But uh, our um, entertainment center at home, we have a huge TV stand that's long. It sits a little lower than this. So um, this right now, if we're laying in bed watching the TV, this comes up about an inch into our TV height because the stand sits kind of low. So if it does that, I don't know if it's going to do that because I haven't had this with our uh, TV stand yet. But when we get it and if, if it does affect our viewing, I'm just going to get a box or a thick piece of wood or something like that and stain it to match the TV stand and put underneath the TV and just lift it up that inch or two to clear this and I think that should resolve any issues that I have with it but it is thicker than uh, some of the sound bars out there now but I think the payoff the benefit from it being that way is good so it's not bad you know the Bluetooth part of it if you want to listen to music and stuff like that it's Bluetooth 4.2 with aptX inside of this so it's great it might lag for uh, watching videos or something and, and looking at it and the mouth and the audio might be off a little bit because of the Bluetooth 4.2. I'm not sure. I haven't really tested that part of it, but it does have aptX. So you're probably going to get the best Bluetooth sound out of this. Aptx is a good thing, especially if your phone or tablet or whatever will uh, use aptX as well. Whenever it's transmitting this over, it will accept that aptX and sound more like CD quality. So that's good and that's kind of it in a nutshell sounds fantastic um maybe i can't really show anything with it so you just have to take my word for it because i don't want to get copyright dinged because movies is where this thing's going to shine but just take my word for it and venture around and look at a handful of the other reviews martin logan does not get the exposure of sony samsung lg and all that kind of stuff because they don't just send a ton they don't have enough I don't think uh, funding possibly to send out for marketing and advertising or something. So they're kind of like a mom and pop type operation, but mainstream. So, and I love that. And I love Martin Logan speakers. Uh, they're my favorite. Give them a chance. Give them a shot. If you're looking at buying a $1,400 Dolby Atmos Samsung system, why not spend $899 here, $300 for your uh, wireless subwoofer, uh, and then you're in that kind of ballpark of what you're getting to save you a couple hundred bucks or something in the process because I just really like this thing, okay? So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that bell so you get notified on the next product review that I got coming that you may not ever heard of. Hopefully we'll shift you to a better option and you don't have to go total mainstream, you know, what's popular right now to get the best bang for the buck like this guy has. See ya!